Okay, so uh, last night we were down at the river looking for water snakes, and we was looking around the rocks and all that, and I saw something going through the rocks, and I was like, that's nice. I knew it wasn't a water snake, and uh, it's a species that was on my list, you know, of species that we were trying to find, and I was really surprised to see it in the water at the river, you know, because we were looking for turtles and, you know, water snakes, and this was the last thing I expected to see at the river, so. And this, uh, this right here is a, it's a common king snake. And uh, they're a constrictor. It's a small one, but uh, any king snake's good for me because this is one I've been looking for for a while and I'm just pretty excited about this. But yeah, I was surprised to see him in that water, you know? Because uh, usually you're gonna see him around a lot of pine and stuff. You're not really. I don't. I wouldn't think you would see him at a boat landing. But that's where we saw him. He was in the water. He could have been a uh, potential food for a fish if I wouldn't have got him. But, uh, yeah. He never did bite. He's real docile. He's a real nice little guy. And um, yeah, this is. He's a real cool species. I thought it was a speckled. Uh, King snake when I first saw it, but it's not because uh, he doesn't have enough speckles here, uh, and he's got the lines down his back. So here, uh, get some up close on him. So, yeah, check him out. He's he's real pretty. He's a pretty little snake, and uh, yeah, he's see because one reason, one way you can tell. He's not the speckled, as he actually has these uh, little cross bands going all the way across his back. And uh, they're sort of faded. You can't really see them real good. And uh, as he gets older, they'll get to where they're pretty much faded all the way off. Uh, and uh, that's the same way, I mean, with most uh, of the black king snakes. But uh, I think when they're younger, their uh, stripes are fully developed. And, you know, they just start to fade like a lot of reptiles do. Yeah, this is a, uh, he's really unique, um, and like I said, I was really surprised to see this guy, and, uh, and I tell you what, it made my day, I was happy, because this is one we've been looking for for a while, and, uh, just haven't seen him, because it's just been so hot lately, and, uh, most king snakes, uh, come out at night during the, uh, hot summer weather, and that's what he was doing, I guess looking for a meal. And also, uh, check out his belly. It's really pretty. Sort of a checkered pattern. Going all the way down. It's really neat looking. So I'm guessing this is a, a juvenile. No, he's really small. Not a real, not a real quick snake. If, if alarmed, he'd probably take off, but he doesn't feel that we're a threat to him, so, you know, he takes his time. He's not worried about us. But yeah, and uh, like you, uh, I'm sure everybody already knows, uh, king snakes eat other snakes, you know, but uh, everybody knows that. Uh, that's why they call the king snake. But yeah, this is a really pretty species. So uh, next, I would like to catch the speckled king snake, but still, any king snake's good with me. So they're a really pretty species. And um, I think what we're gonna do is uh, after we get the photos and all that, we're gonna oh, he's using the bathroom. <laughs> after we get the photos and all that, we're gonna. Uh, take him back to the river where he was. I don't think I'm gonna put him in the water during the daytime, but uh, we'll probably put him in the edge of the uh, forest because I'm sure that's where he came from. And uh, that way we can uh, reinsure that we'll see more king snakes in the future. And uh, yeah, I hope to see more of these guys um, as the summer continues. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching. And I hope y'all enjoy the video. Okay guys, one more thing I was going to show you uh, before we uh, get the photos and release him is uh, I'll show you how, you know, he's got a lot of muscles, look, watch. 
I can take him and then just put him right over my finger, like so. And look, just so powerful. And he can go straight up, just from from a you know from a standpoint, just go straight up in the air like that. And uh, they're really good climbers. And uh, they these and uh, I think the corn snakes also can uh, they can actually go up pine bark. They can uh, grip around with their scales because they're facing backwards like that. They can grip up the pine and go straight up to a bird's nest. So, uh, but yeah. So we'll uh, release him. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. All right, uh, we're down here at the river, and uh, we've come to release the king snake. Cause that's where we found him over there in the edge of the water. So uh, we're just gonna release him in the edge of the woods over here because I really don't want to let him go in the water during day because, uh, you know, like, there's predators that could get him. So, uh, yeah, let's watch him take off. We'll put him, put him right over here. 